It was a party honoring the retirement of Vice Admiral Jennings. It was a good party for me. It brought back many memories of my own war years in naval intelligence. Let me shake hands with many old friends. One in particular, whom I hadn't seen for many months. Lieutenant Commander Joe Cardoza. Joe had come up from the enlisted ranks. He had a quick temper and an inclination toward physical action in a crisis. Al, where have you been the last few months? East. Lemoyne, Japan. We brought the cutter in yesterday. Where's Helen? She's in the music room. I just left her a few minutes ago. I bet you're glad to see you back. Maybe not, though. You're no ornament. Look, Dan, uh, I caught the duty. I'm due back on board in 20 minutes. Do me a favor. Keep her entertained. Take her home. It'll be a pleasure, not a favor. I'd feel much better with a safe old friend looking after her. Oh, well, now, that's rather a dubious compliment. <laughs> sure. Bye. been hiding. Joe's home. Yes, I just saw him. He looks great. He asked me to keep an eye on you, drive you home. Well, you're not Joe, but I like that. Keep an eye on me. I just did. Just a kiss. Don't be stuffy, Dan. Didn't mean anything. Well, would to Joe. Somebody get hurt. All right, who is the man? I don't know, just somebody I met here at the party. He was very persuasive. He wanted to kiss me. I've known you too long, Helen. I don't believe that for a second. I'll get my things. Take me home, Dan, and please don't ask any questions. There's any more to it than that. Next afternoon, I'd learned enough about the other party of that kiss to be concerned. I asked Helen and Joe to my house for dinner. Dan? Come on in. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. I didn't even give you time to get comfortable. It's awfully nice of you to ask us to dinner. Where's Joe? He'll, he'll be along. I was out somewhere. Shopping. I told him I'd meet him here. But don't act so casual. You knew I'd either come early or go late. It was me you wanted to see, wasn't it? Carson Miller. Dan, I know you're a good detective be a good friend to Well, I am. So good, I'm embarrassed doing this. Now, what's the trouble? Please don't have me crying when Joe gets here. I will tell me now. Maybe you'll never have to cry again. I, I will, I will tell you. But it isn't as simple as all that. You'll never know how dreadful I felt when I realized that you saw him kissing me. You'd be glad it was me. Joe would have killed him. Joe got in one of his scrapes again. In China on his last trip. He lost his temper and used his fists on someone abusing a rickshaw boy. You aren't telling me about Carson Miller. I was engaged to him once. He's a very rich man from San Francisco. When I met Joe there several years ago, I broke it off and followed Joe here and married him. I guess I was never in love with Carson. I guess he was in love with me. He made an awful fuss. Have you been seeing him all these years? No, no, only in the last couple of weeks. Does Joe know this character? 
just as a name I was once engaged to. I thought Carson had gotten it all out of his system. He made such an awful scene when I broke it off. What does he want now? Tell him to get lost. You don't tell Carson Miller to get lost. At least if you do, he doesn't listen to you. I realized when I saw him come here that he'd never given up. He was just waiting. He's terribly conceited. He thought that I'd leave Joe and go back to him. When I didn't, he came here. He found out all about Joe and figured out how he could hurt him the most. You blackmail? Yes, only not for money. I haven't paid any blackmail yet. That kiss was taken, not given. I did it to avoid the scene. Mr. Miller, may I talk to you a minute? What about? Helen Cardoza. An attorney. Come on in. No, not an attorney. I'm a private investigator. Looking for business? I'll hire you. I have a client. No, not Cardoza. He'd be here himself. What's your price? You're hired. You think you might need a bodyguard? Oh, no, I, I have a bodyguard. You see, I thought you might be Cardoza. He might be tempted. I might even need that. You hope Cardoza might be tempted to use it. In which case, it's empty. Oh, it's loaded. You stay away from Helen and Joe Cardoza, Miller. You can have it physical or you can have it legal. What you're doing is blackmail. It's a long way down to the ground from here. Come on, take a look. From here, with glasses, I can see across to Coronado and Helen's house. I stand here by the hour. The only way she can save him is to leave him and come to me. You're psychopathic. Maybe. Maybe I am. But I get my way. As a last resort, if she doesn't leave him, I'll go to Cardoza and tell him I've been romancing his wife behind his back for all these months. I'll tell everybody she... You just remember what I told you. The next time, I'll break every bone in your body. That won't do any good. I'll tell the whole world that you... Oh, Adams. I guess I deserve that. Don't you see, all I care about is Helen's happiness. And then get it through your head. She's in love with Joe. I've been acting like a maniac, but I intend to make it up to both of them. No, I mean it. Go look on that desk. My last will and testament. I'm going to leave here. I'll never see her again. That's what it was, all right. A copy of the last will and testament of Carson Miller. He was a rich man, and he was leaving everything he owned to Helen Cardoza. It was diabolical. In every line, it spelled out why he was doing it, and implied a romance had been going on behind Joe Cardoza's back before and after their marriage. If Joe Cardoza ever sees this, he'll kill you. I already sent him a copy. Don't you be here when I get back.
What do you want to see me about, Dan? Oh, just a chat. I'm busy, Dan. Mr. Moore, have the shore boat lay alongside. Hey, you got up a full head of steam. What are you boiling about? I'm going to kill a man. Oh, Carson Miller. Where'd you get the name? If you ask me to keep an eye on Helen as a friend, that means helping her out if she gets in trouble. Oh, I read that thing. Well, I'm going to kill him. What kind of a friend are you? What's going on behind my back and you don't tell me? There's been nothing to tell you. And as far as Helen's concerned, nothing's been going on behind your back and you know it if you know your wife. Of course I know it. But if this guy's been bothering her, why didn't you tell me? Look, it's my home. I don't need anyone to protect it. I'm going to beat him to death with my bare hands. You want the talker so the whole ship can hear? How many more scrapes can you stand? I heard about that last one overseas. What's that got to do with it? Well, you answered your own question. That's why Helen didn't tell you about this character that's been bothering her. He wants you to come after him, beat him up, get cashiered out of the service. She knows that. That's why she suffered it out alone. With your help. She didn't invite me, and I stumbled onto it, but that really doesn't matter. I came up here to tell you that I talked to this guy, Miller, and I think I persuaded him to get out of town and leave both of you alone. I don't need you in this, Dan. Nothing you can say will change it. If he goes back to San Francisco, I'll go after him. You've blown your stack. You bet I have. Dan, you know I have to do this to live with myself. When he gets here, he'll kill you. That's a matter of opinion. Look, he needs time to cool off. Now, you take a walk. I want to see him. That's exactly what I want. Now, get out. Forget this, Dan. You're meddling in my business, and I don't like it. Look, he checked out. Now, you're going to take a few hours to think about this. Think what it'll do to Helen and to you. They'd have told me downstairs if he checked out. All right, so he left without checking out. Now, you're either going to cool off, or I'm going to cool you off. Get away from that closet door. Look, why don't you go home to Helen? Dan, I'm sorry, but I'll catch up with him. Go on home.
Hello. Hello, Helen. Is Dan Adams. Is Joe there? No, nothing important. I'll catch up to him later. How is he? He was awfully jumpy last night, Dan. But he seemed calmer this morning. Something about the ship, I guess. At least I hope that's what it was. They're having some kind of open house there this afternoon. You know, visitors and all that sort of thing. No. He did call earlier to say goodbye. Well, I hope you made it definite. I mean the goodbye. I did. Thanks a lot for calling, Dan. Come and see us soon. Bye. How did you get in here? I had to see you once more. Get out. Get out. Oh, I, I was very careful. I, I waited around outside until I was sure your husband wasn't home. I believed you on the telephone. I thought you meant it. I did. I'm leaving San Diego. Won't you tell me goodbye? You owe me that. Sorry, I did that. I, I came here to talk, to explain. Are you afraid he'll come home and find us here together? We're not together. Not the way you mean it. We never were. No, we never were. And we never will be. Yes, we will be. I promise you that. No. I can't fight anymore. I don't care. Go ahead and hurt me. Hurt me as much as you like. Hurt Joe as much as you like. I don't care. I know one thing. We're always going to be together. You're out of the service. Don't let me go. Joe's going to kill you. I'm always going to be with Joe. You know, out of prison, in or out of the service. It's when he kills you and he's going to kill you. I wish I hadn't tried to protect Joe. I wish I'd let him go ahead and kill you. I love him, Joe. I'll never love anyone. I hate you, Carson. I hate the very sight of you. I hate you. All right, I believe you. But I can promise you one thing. If I can't have you, he never will. <laughs> you probably know. I should have known you'd be in the brig. I turned this town upside down looking for him. Well, I'm tired of playing protective friend to a guy who doesn't want to be protected and who doesn't care enough about his wife. Way off. I called Helen, said goodbye. He's leaving town. When? A few hours ago. Maybe he meant it. I think he'll try to say goodbye to you, too. Bait you into something. Are you going to take the bait, sucker? Throw everything overboard? Start anything here, I won't be hurt. 
I'm taking you off this ship. Vertical or horizontal, you can have it either way. But this time, I'm not leaving you till you're aboard a plane. Not until I've said goodbye to Cardoza. Now, if you don't leave me alone, some innocent bystander's gonna get hurt. Think it over. Understand? He's got a gun. So what? So what do you care about Helen? So what do you care about all the people on your ship? He's a maniac. Look, I can handle this and there won't be any fuss. Now, just for once, use your head. The people are my responsibility. Where is he? He's forward. Now, here's this. Now, here's this. All ship's personnel and visitors lay aft on the double. I repeat, all ship's personnel and visitors lay aft on the double. I repeat, all ship's personnel and visitors lay aft on the double. Cardoza! Commander Cardoza! Commander Cardoza! What are you afraid of, Commander? up your cutter, Commander. That was a crackpot I've been looking for in a civil matter. Nobody told me he was a mental case and armed. Here comes the doctor. See you in the hospital. Yeah. Thanks. 